Let's take a look at the law of conservation of linear momentum. This law states that in a system of colliding bodies, the total momentum is conserved, provided no external force acts on the system. It can also be stated as in a closed system or isolated system of colliding bodies, the total momentum before collision equals total momentum after collision. Now, when you talk about closed system or isolated system, it means in a system where there is no external force. So in a closed system, the total momentum before collision equals total momentum after collision. Mathematically, M1U1 plus M2U2 equals M1V1 plus M2V2. Now, after collision, if the body moves together with common velocity, M1U1 plus M2U2 becomes, you factor out V, becomes M1 plus M2 in brackets multiplied by V, where M1 is the mass of the first body, U1, initial velocity of the first body, M2 is the mass of the second body, U2 is the initial velocity of the second body. V1 and V2 are the final velocities. Now let's take a look at a pictorial representation of conservation of linear momentum. In figure one, we have two balls moving in opposite direction. That is the first case. That's before collision. Moving in opposite direction, it has separate masses and separate velocities. Now, during collision, if the both balls collide, the one with the, higher, with the higher mass and higher velocity will tend to push the other one. Whereas, if it is an equilibrium, the both balls will go their separate ways as shown after collision. So, the first case shows for opposite direction, both before collision, during collision, and after collision. The second case, shows bodies moving in the same direction. Before collision, they all have their separate masses and velocities. When they collide, let's say ball A and ball B collide. If ball A has a higher mass compared to ball B, the ball A will now shift the ball B and they'll start moving with common velocity after collision. So basically, this is how the conservation of law operates. Now let's take a look at examples under the conservation of linear momentum. So the body of mass 4 kg moving with a velocity of 10 meters per second collides with a stationary body of mass 6 kg. If the two bodies move together after collision, calculate their common velocity. Now, this is similar to the second case. Let's take a look at the solution. From the solution, we are given the following parameters. Example one, under linear momentum, our the first mass, M1, is 4 kg. U1 is 10 meters per second. M2 is 6 kg. Now, U2 is 0. Why is U2 0? Because the body is stationary. And when the body is stationary, the initial velocity is equal to 0. From our formula, we said M1, U1, plus M2, U2, is equal to M1V plus M to V. But in this case, they are both moving with common velocity. So this can be written to become M1 U1 plus M2 U2. You factor out V, you have M1 plus M2. Now from our equation, we said U is zero. So this becomes 
m1 or let's put the form let us put the values into the equation putting the values you have the first mass 4 times 10 plus second mass is 6 times 0 equals to v into 4 plus 6 So 4 times 10 is give us 40. 6 times 0 is 0 equal to V. 6 plus 4 give us 10. So that means 40 is equal to 10 V. Now I divide both sides by 10. This will go with this. Our V becomes 4 meters per second. Now, this is the common velocity after collision. Therefore, the diagram can be in this form. Let's say this is mass 1. This is mass 2. Let's call this A or M1. This is B. This is M1. This is M2. This contains 4 kilogram. This is 6 kilogram. Here U is equal to 0. Here where U is equal to 10. Now, since this guy is moving, when it collides with this, after collision, this is before collision. Before collision. Now, after collision, they will both move with the common velocity, this and this. So this becomes m1, this is m2, half common velocity v, which is 4. So this is after collision. So basically, this is what happens when the boat's body collide. Now let's take a look at another example. Example two. Having solved that example under laws of linear momentum, now let's talk about types of collision. Basically, there are two major types of collision. You have elastic collision and inelastic collision. The elastic collision it's a collision where both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. The first case, that is M1U1 plus M2U2 equal M1V1 plus M2V2 is the momentum. The second case, M1U1 squared over 2 plus M2U2 squared over 2 equals M1V1 squared over 2 plus m2 v2 square over 2 is the kinetic energy that is conserved. In the inelastic collision, only momentum is conserved and kinetic energy is not conserved because the kinetic energy gradually decreases as, as it is converted into heat, sound, or elastic potential energy. Please note that in a complete inelastic collision, the two objects join together after impact and move with common velocity v, as shown in example 2. We have come to the end of this series. Here are some tutorial questions. Question 1. A bullet of mass 20 gram traveling horizontally at 100 meters per second embed itself in the center of a block of wood of mass 1 kilogram. Calculate the velocity. Question 2. A constant force of 5 newton acts for 5 seconds on the mass 
of 5 kg in initially at rest. Calculate the final momentum. Please note that initially at, at rest means that our U is equal to zero. Question number three. A body of mass 12 kg traveling at 25 meters per second collide with a second body of mass 18 kg at rest. Calculate their common velocity if the two bodies move together after collision. The fourth question. A force of 100 Newton is used to kick a football of mass 0 0.8 kg. Find the velocity with which the ball was kicked after 0 0.8 seconds. Those are the basic tutorial questions given. However, for further research and studies, we can take a look at the following references. Sahar Swap, that is World Science, 2007. Facid, ph.utexas.edu, and also physicsclassroom.com and Senior Secondary School Physics by PN Okeke. Okay, okay.